I'm going to give you some motivation to learn percents in addition to the fact that you want to be good at math and you want to understand the basic principles. There are also other motivations to learn and I can use some examples of people who grew up, became adults, and had never learned how to understand percents or how to properly use them. So here's an example of a sign that was posted in a government building in the state of Illinois recently. And the, here at the top it says that the bank processing fee of 0.0235% or $1 whichever is greater will be charged. Well, 0.0235%, that's 0.0235 over 100, because percent means out of 100. So in order to compute 0.0235%, you would move the decimal two places this way. And in every single case here, a dollar is greater, because the person who wrote this used the, both the decimal and the percent sign, which is incorrect. So this actually, th this here, $60, 0.0235% of $60 is one cent. It's actually 0.0141, not quite one and a half cents. So this should be one cent. Well, actually, all of these should be a dollar. And this is posted currently in 2020 in a government building in Illinois written by someone who doesn't understand percents. So you could legally tell them I'm only paying a dollar because a dollar is greater than 0.0235 percent. Here's another motivation to understand percents. Some marketers did a study and they found that adults who don't understand percents will pay more for a product when they see a percent sign on it so a lot of companies started putting things like this. What this says is, this, this is chicken broth, that this f is 50% more than the 32 ounce size. Well, yeah, because 50% of 32 is 16. Add 16 ounces to 32 and you get 48 ounces. It costs 50% more, you're not saving any money, but People who don't understand percents, when they see that 50%, they just think, oh, that must be a deal. So you need to understand percents so you don't fall for this kind of thing. Now this example is very similar to the sign in Illinois where the person didn't realize that it mattered that they said 0.0235% instead of what they meant was 2.35%. Well, this is in this example, someone is making fun of Verizon, the telephone company, because they were quoted that when they went to Canada from the United States, their charge per kilobyte was going to be 0 0.002 cents per kilobyte, but they were charged 0 0.002 dollars, and Verizon didn't know the difference between 0 0.002 cents and 0 0.002 dollars. And here's just a little bit of the example here to show you that he doesn't understand it matters what unit it is and where the decimal is when you're figuring a fractional part or a percent of something. Right. Except that I've been trying to resolve this for two calls in over 45 minutes now. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. I'm definitely sorry to hear that, uh, that you've had a call on that many times. Let's see. Um, looks like you're questioning some kilobyte usage that was done while in Canada. Well, l l let me just start out with a basic question. Okay. Do you do you recognize that there's a difference between $0.002 and $0.002 cents? Point zero zero two dollars. Do you recognize that there's a, there's actually point zero zero two cents? Yes. Do you recognize there's a difference between those two numbers? No. Okay. Is there a difference between two dollars and two cents? Well, yes, there is. Okay. So is it is there a difference between point zero zero two dollars and point zero zero two cents? Point zero zero two dollars and point zero zero two 
that. Yes. Is there a difference know, they're, between... They're, they're both the same if you, if you look at them on paper-wise. No, they're not, actually. It, 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 it's $0.5 the same as See, point five you get cents. the point. Um, and this is the same it's mistake the state of Illinois made. Is a half a dollar. You don't, you don't want to make this kind of mistake when you're a grown-up working for a company or a state that you don't understand the, where the decimal goes and what difference that makes and how to write a percent and how to compute a percent.